Hey, what is up, guys? TJ here, and I feel like super tight right now just because I don't have any space. But <laughs> I wanted to walk through this rig with you guys. Uh, last time I made a video like this, uh, it was just a handheld setup, and now it's evolved into this, and uh, it's taken many iterations uh, to get my rig like this. Uh, first, I was using the rig on the 70D. Um, then I was using the rig on the Fujifilm X-T3. And then I was using it, or I am using it on the um, Canon EOS R. And to be honest with you, I have used the same Camvate uh, cage throughout all of those transitions. So this Camvate cage is, works for any DSLR that I've had. It's worked for the 70D, it's worked for a uh, 5D uh, Mark IV, it's also worked for a uh, Fujifilm X-T3 and now it works for the Canon EOS R. Also, I will say this is um, a setup strictly for handheld usage. Um, as you can tell, I have my you know follow focus here, I have my top handle, I have my monitor up here, but I also use this rig uh, and I have to switch it up just a little bit to use it for a shoulder rig. And maybe in the next video um, or my next video, or update I'll show you what this setup looks like uh, handheld and what I use to switch it over because the monitor actually changes positions I get a lot of questions about this rig no one's really seen it on an EOS R like this so um, let's start from the bottom and work our way up uh, so if you look at the bottom so what I do is I make sure the tripod plate stays attached at the bottom so that I can always when I, after I'm using this handheld rig i can slide it back on and set it up like this from there i have i believe this is the camvate riser at the bottom this allows me to adjust the height of my camera so that my lens is uh, at the right center line with my map box uh, you know the dslrs and mirrorless cameras are a little bit smaller than cinema cameras or cinema rigs um, so you have to rise it up a little bit or put a riser that will allow it to uh, change positions depending on what you have down here as far as your plates. And then on that riser, I have um, a set of small rig 12 uh, inch 15 millimeter rails. And from there, I have the plate that comes with the riser uh, attached to my my camvate rig so that's attached directly to my camvate rig and then that camvate rig is attached to my eos r um, a couple of things about this camvate rig is um, that don't ever <laughs> if you get a rig like this it actually came with a connection for the cold shoe and i you know, stupidly not knowing. And uh, my top plate was connected to my cold shoe. And if you drop, you know, the rig in that scenario, it will rip off your cold shoe. So be careful uh, and make sure you never attach anything to the top handle of your DSLR or mirrorless camera. Let's work outward from down here, the side handles. So this side handle came with the canvate setup. And then the top handle up here is a small rig top handle, which uh, is attached via a NATO rail at the top. Uh, so right here, you have a NATO rail that connects um, to my uh, top plate from my canvate. And then um, the R, excuse me, the NATO connection right here. Um, this top handle has a RE connection in the front, which is also a small rig tilt uh, this RE connection is a lifesaver. It doesn't allow it to move, um, doesn't allow it to like just un unwanted, like loosening of the connection doesn't happen. Um, it also comes with this Allen key um, that's located right here that you can easily pull off and put back anytime, which is perfect. And um, also just like, I like the little accents of, of wood on, on my rig. So from there, we'll talk about the lens setup that I have. Uh, right here, I have the EOS R adapter uh, to EF, and that is also the variable ND filter, which is perfect because most of my cameras 
uh, especially Canon cinema cameras have built-in ND filters and that is the perfect setup like where you know you have you don't have to like switch on or switch off a whole bunch of different filters onto here uh, you have that ND built-in so it is almost like a, a mini cinema rig then I have my cine glass my Rokinon cinema glass on that and that has to be you know um, manually focus so from there we go to the nano the nucleus nano and this is made by tilta and i have uh, the nucleus nano handle right here which is smooth i love it uh, auto calibrates it connects instantly to the motor which is located on the other side um, right down here and um, those are both being powered and plugged in uh, to my uh, my five volt out from my battery and my um, plate here and you know I just plug those in via micro USB as soon as I power this on that all comes on from here if you look at the front of my rig I have a map box and this is the Fotaga map box um, that is pretty adjustable I, I like it because um, you can you know, take it on and off uh, pretty quickly. I can take this um, this lens off by just moving this out and sliding it back in. And uh, also, it's really just here for just weight distribution. I just like to have a heavy rig, something that's not going to be... Um, it doesn't feel small in, in, in camera. It, it feels like a large cinema rig. Um, so I just... I just like the weight of it, honestly, and how balanced it is. Um, I would like to have uh, something that was smaller, um, but uh, this does a good job at distributing the weight and making sure that I have uh, even weight distribution when I'm handling it. The other thing about this is uh, it's a 4x4 map box. Uh, so being a 4x4 map box, uh, which means it accepts 4x4 filters, um, you know those aren't really readily available there they aren't a lot of 4x4 filters there to rent and all of that um and those 4x4 filters can be pretty expensive as well <laughs> um you know it'd be great to be able to drop you know just be able to swing it out right pull it out slide it in so now we can just talk about the power so in the back here i have my um canvay plate um and this canvay plate just converts all the power uh, from my V mount battery this converter converts all the power to the different voltage that I need for each thing I want to make sure my camera's running off of 7.2 I want to make sure this is running off of either 12 or 7.2 volts and I believe it's running off of 7.2 volts I, actually, I could actually run the 12 volt to this if I wanted to um, but then I also have the 5 volts running to both of my Nucleus Nanos. The Atomos Ninja up here, which you can see has its own power converter. It's going directly into, I guess that's, um, you know, a DC out. Um, so this DC out is running all the way down to, to right here. One of these is running directly to EOS R, which is running off of a dummy battery, um, which you can just pull out. There we go. So run off a dummy battery, slide that in. And as soon as I turn on that switch, Everything has power. Follow focus has power. My monitor has power. My camera has power. Uh, so everything is powered up and ready to go. Only thing that's running off a of battery on here is uh, my Ceramonic receiver. And that Ceramonic receiver is just running directly into my camera. And that's pretty much it for this rig, y'all. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the rig. Um, like I said, this has been a, a lot of trial and error from this point. Uh, to get to this point um, as far as like you know picking out different uh, handles and and just seeing what works for other people and what works what works for me explore some of the links down below and see what may work for you and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in the next video peace